Hello fabulous DIYers, it's Deanna Tabois here and in this video I'm going to show you how to drape this classic style, this sheath dress. So let's begin. So you're going to be needing muslin fabric. I'm working with a yard and a half and it is 54 inches wide. So now I'm going to prep my muslin and my muslin uh, I'm going to split it in half as you see me doing it here so I can have two pieces one for the back and one for the front and as always at the edge of the selvage I'm going to draw in my one inch center front line from the top edge I'm going to come down four inches from the top so I have enough room to drape when I'm putting this on the dress form and you wanna repeat the same process all over again for the back portion of the muslin. Now it's time to drape. With that point at the four inch mark, I'm going to place my muslin against the center front line of my dress form. And I'm gonna pin it all the way down to the bottom of the dress form. Now once you have everything pinned like this, it is time for you to smooth away the fabric from the upper chest part over to the shoulder. I'm gonna smooth it all the way over to the back and pin it down so that way it can stay down. Here at the neck, I'm going to cut away that excess and then slash into the neck. Don't slash into the neck line seam, just slash as close as possible so that way you can ease that fabric around the neckline. Then once you have done that, you wanna go ahead and smooth around the armhole towards the side seam, that fabric right there. And here you can start seeing that the bust dart is forming. Um, we're gonna come right back to that. Just make sure that you have everything all smooth. And once you have everything smooth, you wanna start pinning that dart. Um, you wanna start from the peak, and then you wanna take it all the way to the side seam. After you're done that, it will look like this. And then now it's time for you to do the same for the bust dart at the front. And here I'm just gonna be pinching along that princess seam and grab whatever excess that was there. I'm not gonna pull from the front, center front. I'm gonna pull more fabric in from the side seam instead. And you just wanna go ahead and just shape it around the waist and bodice area of the dress. And it should form a dart as you pinch around there. Just take it all the way down to the end when the dart is no longer a dart anymore. And it will look like this. Now it's time to mark. So here I'm gonna be marking the top point of the bust dart all the way down to the bottom peak of the bust dart. So I'm gonna mark one side of it. All the way down to that peak. And if you see a little bit of spacing there, just go ahead and just put a pin there to make sure it's completely gone. And continue to mark the dart and mark the other side of the dart as well and here we're going to do the same thing for the bust dart we're going to start from the side seam and just bring it all the way to the peak of the dart by the top of the bust dart and you want to do the same thing for underneath as well once that's complete now it's time for you to mark the neckline I'm going to mark my neckline right now and I'm going to follow the neck seam on the dress form all the way to the shoulder seam and then I'm going to draw a point at that shoulder seam. Now it's time for you to draw in your side seam mark. So you just want to go ahead and trace the side seam stitch all the way down to the hem of the bodice. Make sure when you get to the waist, you mark your waistline. If it's above the tape, 
mark there if you want to keep it consistent all the way throughout the draping process here I'm going to take it all the way down to the bottom and I'm going to try as best as I can um, I can reshape that once I go ahead and when it's time for me to go ahead and fix the side seam now here at the center of where that screw is we're going to mark the center of the armhole and at the shoulder seam we're going to bring it all the way at the edge of that armhole to mark the top of the shoulder seam edge and these will be our markings for the armhole at my armhole i don't like my tops to be at the pit so i come down an inch so i have more room for space that's going to be the armhole and once you complete with that it will look like this and now it's time for you to drape the back so once again at that four inch mark from the top you want to go ahead and pin along the center back seam pin all the way down to the bottom and now the rest of the excess at the shoulder the same as I did in the front you want to push everything forward to the front of the bodice and here since the neckline is bunching I'm going to cut some of that access so I can get into the neckline remember do not cut all the way into the neck where it reaches the seam you just want to go ahead and slash just to open that area up and it'll look like that once that's complete just re-smooth and re-pin just to adjust it next it's time to smooth that fabric around the back shoulder blade and just bring it swing it to the front and bring it and just pin it along close to the side seam and you just want to go ahead and shape that around the hip the waist area and bring it all the way down like I did in the front where you want to create a pencil like shape now that excess that's sitting at the back shoulder princess seam you want to go ahead and start pinching that for the back dart and you want to start at the very top where the dart begins to start forming and start pinching it along the princess seam and you just want to pinch it into place so you can start forming and try to pull the axis from the waist instead of the center back because you don't want to go ahead and pull that center back seam off the dress form so just use from the side and continue to pin down until the dart is completely pinned once you have that all pinned up now it's time for you to mark as we did in the front portion of the bodice we're going to do the same thing for the back here I'm going to draw in my side seam of the dress form and bring it all the way down making sure that you draw in your waist mark once again from that screw at the plate of the armhole you're going to draw in hole, the center of the armhole and then at the shoulder you want to join that mark too here I'm marking the neckline and at the shoulder seam I'm marking where it starts from the armhole I'm coming down one inch again and that will be my armhole here I'm cutting away the excess and once you're complete it will look like this now it's time for us to make our corrections and perfect the lines so here I'm removing all the pins from the dart and I'm going to open all the darts up this is the front portion of the front bodice and I'm taking my hip curve ruler I'm going to straighten up that line that I created for the bust dart making sure that you draw in your waist mark there then I'm going to go ahead and knead that bust dart as well from the side seam I'm going to draw a straight line across and with my hip curve ruler I'm going to draw in my armhole the three markings that we drew from the shoulder from the center part of the armhole and at the pit of the armhole there we go and then I'm going to draw in my shoulder seam from that beginning point to the edge of the shoulder now I'm going to go back and fix my side seam and straighten up the, the side seam length at the bottom to make it more neater 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and draw in my neck line after that I'm going to draw in my half an inch seam allowance all the way around my drape bodice here I close the bust start and took it all the way down to the bottom and add my half an inch seam allowance After that, you want to cut out your drape pattern. Everything out, it's time for you to pin it back. We're pinning it back so that way we can see how it fits. Here I'm pinning the bust dart, and then I'm pinning the princess dart. And once you're complete, it will look like this. And then you want to repeat the process all over again for the back portion. Here I'm taking the dart apart, opening that dart, and adjusting the seam. Then I'm gonna draw in my armhole with the three dots. Then after that, I'm gonna draw in my shoulder seam and then add my seam allowance. And once you complete, you wanna go ahead and cut that out. I'm gonna pin back that back dart. And now I'm gonna pin the pieces together, making sure I match everything with the markings at the waist. And then at the bottom here, you can see that it's not fully straight or even so I'm going to go ahead and just straighten that out by just cutting it across and once you're done it will look like this now it's time for us to place it back on the dress form to see how it fits you want to pin along the center front line as previously and it will look like this I noticed at the neck it was a little loose have a little bit of spacing. I'm going to close that up because I want a tight neckline so I added a little dart there that will be disregarded later. And this is it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video let me know down in the comments. Give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!